I remember life mostly around the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Uh, I lived on Capilano Road since the time I was six and I used to accompany my parents to work at the Capilano Suspension Bridge. The bridge was built in 1889, so it was really just a little hole in the wall, but I could see that we could make it into something really great and a great uh, destination for visitors. I've always been interested in volunteering. We've always been involved in helping raise funds for a lot of different charities, but it was almost by a fluke that we became involved with the Burn Fund. In 2007, uh, with some pretty severe winter storms, uh, it affected the operations at our, our bright nights. And we were approached uh, by then Nancy to come on board and, and do a fundraiser through their operations at the Capilano. And partnering with us, they have been contributing funds through their uh, winter displays since 2007 and greatly contributed almost just over $400,000. You see how philanthropic uh, the Capilano group is, Nancy is, and all those around her. They want to make people better. That's what we're all about, is making people better. It's about empowering our survivors. It's about empowering people to make a, make a difference in this world. I think an amazing responder is an individual or organization that recognizes the great need in the community of organizations that try to make life a better place for everyone. And when there's people within the community like Nancy and the Capilano group, they answer that need. They answer the call to do something to help move those goals and move that help forward to make sure that it gets to the people that it serves. She is the vision of uh, both entrepreneurial spirit, uh, Western passion and brand passion. Uh, and she brings that not just here in this community, which I know she's very involved with, but Capilano is not just uh, an attraction, it's an ambassador for Canada around the world. Uh, Travel and Leisure actually named Canada the top destination in the world. Uh, what is the front page image that they're using? It's the Capilano Bridge. Well, Nancy, I think, is one of those people when she signs up for something, she does not make false promises. When Nancy says that she will do something, she does it, and she then motivates everybody else around the table to raise the bar on their own performance as a volunteer to bring that little extra something to the table as well. A good researcher needs to have a very good idea and that's why Nancy can be a great researcher and the good thing about her she wants to know more about the research that we are doing. Sometimes I feel that she's kind of my boss because I have to update her of the work that we are doing but somehow the passionate is very important to us that if we see someone who is really interested in research we try to give information as much as possible and encourage her to come and visit and update her for the new foundation, new research that we are doing. So Nancy was chosen uh, to be honoured this year because of the work that she does both in front of and behind the scenes and in empowering the Burn Fund. We need to honour uh, partners like Nancy uh, for that reason. I think one of the best things that have, that's happened through all of this is that I started with a little team, I think maybe 12 or 15 people. Now I have a team of 580 people. The thing I like about them best is their spirit. It's all about spirit. You can train a lot of things, but you can't train spirit. Nancy, on behalf of the Burn Fund and the Burn Survivors that you've helped over these last 12 years, thank you. Thank you to you and your team for all you have done and for the assistance you have provided us.